Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is internal podalic version. How would you define internal podalic version? It is a maneuver to deliver the fetus by inserting a hand into uterine cavity, grasping one or both feet and drawing them through the cervix. What is the indication of internal podalic version? It is used for the delivery of second non-vertex strains in multiple pregnancy. So when the fetal heart rate are normal and membranes are intact, we go for external cephalic version. But either fetal heart rate is abnormal or membranes are absent, the internal podalic version is a preferred maneuver. What are the prerequisites of internal podalic version? Those include adequate analgesia. Secondly, patient should be in lithotomy position. We should do the continuous fetal heart rate monitoring. We should do abdominal and internal examination to confirm the lie and position of fetal parts. We should take care of aseptic measures. We should have an immediate access to the operation theater. We should ensure the presence of pediatrician. And before performing the procedure, we should empty the bladder of the patient. Now, how to perform internal podalic version? First of all, I will introduce myself to the patient and take her introduction. Next comes the counseling of the patient. I will explain the whole situation and procedure and its possible complications to the patient and take an informed consent. Now, we will discuss the preparation before procedure. I will put the patient in the thought new position and make sure that there is adequate light and appropriate anesthesia is given to the patient. Put the sterile gloves on. IPV procedure is performed by manually by placing one hand on abdomen and another hand inside the vagina. Locate the left foot preferably by confirming the head with one hand through intact membrane. Use another hand to guide the fetal head to promote flexion of the head. Grasp foot and pull out with gentle continuous traction. If possible, grasp both feet together. Leave membranes intact until below the level of ischial spines or introitus, then ruptured membranes. Once the body is delivered up till umbilicus, deliver the rest of the baby in conventional breech delivery method. What are the possible fetal complications of internal podalic version? Those include fetal anoxia. Secondly, difficulty in delivery of the head. Next, the inadherent delivery of the head with the shoulder presentation. Next come the placental abruption. And the last one is cord accident. Now, this procedure is also associated with certain maternal complications like endometritis and ruptured uterus. Now, as we are discussing the topic of internal podalic version, so we will discuss the intrapartum management of twin pregnancy. We have three possibilities. The first one is the one in which both twin are in vertex presentation. In second case, first twin is vertex, second twin is non-vertex. And in third possibility, the first twin is non-vertex and second twin is either vertex or non-vertex. So what will we do in the first possibility when both twins are in vertex position? Preferably, we will go for the vaginal delivery, cesarean section, only for the obstetric indications. But in the second case, when the first twin is vertex and second is non-vertex, the first twin is delivered by vaginal delivery and second twin is breached, then we will discuss that case later on. But if the second twin is in transverse position, then we do external cephalic version and delivery of internal podalic version and delivery in OT. Means in OT, we perform either ECV or IPV. And if those are unsuccessful, we go for cesarean section. In the third possibility, when first twin is non-vertex, second either vertex or non-vertex, we go for cesarean section because the first twin is non-vertex. So, when the second twin is breached, then we go for primary breach extraction when the estimated birth weight is more than 1500 gram. That is preferred because it is associated with lesser failure rate and lower chances of fetal distress, cord prolapse and compound presentation. So, primary breach extraction is the preferred technique and we can also go for ecv if that fails we will go for cesarean section if that is successful vaginal delivery will be performed the last one 
the last um, method is that of the primary cesarean section if estimated fetal weight is less than 200 gram then we go for primary cesarean section so thank you so much that was all about internal podalic version subscribe on ops and gyne allah hafiz